Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name's Tiana, and if you guys are returning, it's so nice to see you guys again. I've had laser hair removal on my underarms because it was just getting ridiculous. The hair growth, the pigmentation, I would honestly shave and then like a couple hours later you could just see the pigment still and it was getting very uncomfortable and I was getting self-conscious at the gym. Even just wearing tank tops or dresses out and about in the summer even some t-shirts. It was just ridiculous. So I ended up spending about $250, I believe, on laser hair removal for the spa. So for today's video, I'm going to compare and just talk to you guys about at-home laser hair removal and at the spa, but I'm not going to get too in-depth about the spa one. If you want to know more about that, you can go check it out in the card or go in the description and it'll be down there. Um, today's going to be just touching on both and telling you guys what I think about both. So to start off, I ended up just getting laser hair removal done on my underarms and it has been about six months now that I haven't gotten laser hair removal done on my underarms at the spa. I went through my whole six sessions there. I could come back after about four to six weeks for touch-ups if I noticed that the hair is coming back, if I noticed that the pigmentation is getting darker, things like that. Laser hair removal is not like 100%. I personally found it to be about 90% and to this day I still think it is 100% worth it in my opinion because of the results that it gave me. So I'm sure you guys seen things like this all over the internet. This here is from Exo Beauty. They sent me one of these to try and review for you guys. So I'm excited to tell you guys about this today. This to me is a lot more different than going to a salon. Even Hopescope was doing like a video kind of comparing the two. And she even said that at the salon it hurt. I, I, I do mean spa if I say salon. But getting it done professionally did hurt more than using an IPL, which is the intense pulse light. Um... And that's the biggest thing that I noticed also. So this is normally $220 US dollars and it's on sale right now for $185. I do have a discount code in the description. It's not affiliate code, just a discount code. So if you wanted to use that, you could. You have your cord. You're going to need your cord, not just to like charge it or anything, but that is actually how the device is going to work. You don't wanna block the fans because then it's going to not vent properly and you have to have it plugged in for this to work. For this one here, I wish it had like buttons or I wish it was a little bit more responsive just because I found personally I had a little bit of a hard time with it. I don't know why exactly, but it'll turn on and you have different settings. Now an IPL does more than just laser hair removal. It helps with acne, I believe wrinkles. I personally chose just to focus on the laser hair removal only because I really wanted to just focus on touching up these spots myself that I had laser hair removal. What you have is your on button. Make sure that it is on the hair setting. You do want to read the manual prior. The manual is going to help you out so, so much. Going on YouTube, I did not find very many videos about Exo Beauty, so it was hard for me and I had to literally read the whole manual to get an idea of what to do. Um, I also found that the website was, it was helpful. The manual was the best way to get the information. The setting with like the lightning bolt will give you either like your low, medium, high setting like that. So you're going to have to hold it down just to see what setting you want. I would personally recommend starting at the lowest setting and working your way up. But one thing I will let you know, I put it on the highest setting and it's still nothing compared to getting it professionally done. This to me is like, let's say like a four or a five out of 10 and getting it professionally done is maybe like an eight or a nine. It's not painful to get it done like at a professional place, but it still hurts more than this does. So this is a lot more sensitive on the skin. It has an automatic feature also. So if you don't want to be in control of it, you can just go along your, let's say your leg and you just hold it down and you continue to move it and it will flash automatically and do it that way. If you wanna be in control of it, you can just press the button down whenever you want the light to go on. When you go get it done professionally, you have to wait a period of time to have it done. So I had to wait a period of time until I could get my next session. So with this, you're actually able to use it about two times a week and a lot of people start to notice results more so after four weeks. I only use this once a week. So I've used this, I think I use this five or six times now. I've used this quite a bit and I really 
like it. The thing that I noticed the most about using the at home IPL was that it's not as strong as getting it done professionally. Getting it done professionally, I noticed a huge difference right away. I could smell the burning hair and I also had a little bit of bumps and redness and sensitivity underneath my arms, which is normal. It was nothing concerning, but I noticed with that I had results basically right away and I noticed the pigmentation was getting less and less and less the hair growth was getting less and less and less and I noticed a big difference with those sessions using the IPL what I noticed is it does help I noticed the biggest difference on my underarms for touching up on my legs I still find that I have a long way to go I'm still having to shave two times a week nothing different about that. I noticed that the pigmentation of the hair on my legs is a lot less than when I didn't use this. And the other thing that I noticed was this is really good to retouch underneath your arms or somewhere that you had laser hair removal because it does help. I noticed the biggest difference underneath my arms and it's nice because this device here let's say is $200. So you pay $200 for it and you do it yourself or you go get it done professionally and then you use this just to touch up. The thing that I like about that is then you're not having to pay, let's say, I think it's about $45 a session, so it will still add up. Where you're able to do this at home two times a week if you wanted to, you're able to do the setting you want, at the pace you want, where you want it, and everything like that. Now, the other thing that I want to mention is you have your sunglasses, and that the lens of it, or either the film, on mine is like bubbling up already. So that's one thing to take into consideration. You don't want to look at the light when you're using this, and you you don't want to put it into your eyes. The manual has a good description as to where you can use it. I know you can use it on your face if you wanted to, not into your eyes. You can use it on your arms, you can use it on your underarms. I was using it on my stomach and you can use it on your legs or your bikini zone if you wanted to. I have not used it all those places. I just did my underarms for touch up which has worked and I did it on my legs which is helping. So comparing an IPL to getting it done professionally I find is two completely different things. I think if you are knowledgeable and you're willing to take the time and continue to use it you're going to notice a difference. This is not something that you can do once and then stop even going to get it done. You can't just book a session and stop. It's a continuous thing that you have to keep doing. The other thing about this is you're in control so you need to watch that you don't hurt yourself, burn yourself, you don't want to keep the light on the same spot for too long. You also don't want to start irritating your skin or you don't want to put it on too high of a setting that's not going to work for your skin. And the thing that I really liked about going to get it done professionally first was that I was able to tell my limits and have someone know what they're doing and basically get me started to where I want to go. I don't know personally if this is something that I would do for my bikini area. I'd probably rather go get it done professionally because that is somewhere I'd rather go. And then maybe once I'm a little bit more comfortable or kind of know and get the understanding of it, then maybe I do it myself, but that's just how I feel about it personally. Now, this is a lot cheaper than going to get it done, but remember you are doing it yourself. Um, you're doing it yourself. So it does have to be continuous. It does have to be regular because you can't just use it once a month and expect results. That's the same with getting laser hair removal. Like doing it once a year is not going to give you results. So that's about that. I just wanted to come on here and compare the two. It's really up to you guys on what you guys would like to have done. If you guys wanted laser hair removal but could not afford it because it is pricey but I do think it is a very good service. There are IPLs out there and you can do them at home and like I said they take a little bit more time and they're a little bit more of a more gentle service than getting laser hair removal. So if you maybe weren't sure about getting that done and you want to do it yourself there are ways to do it. So make sure to check out my video on getting it done professionally if you wanted to know more about that. Make sure to leave me a comment down below on if you would rather get it done professionally or do it at home. I think that'd be really interesting to know. I don't know if I touched about this earlier, but the hair under my arms are growing in a lot slower and the pigmentation is like blonde now, which is great. Yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to go follow me on my social medias. They are in the description down below. Make sure to subscribe if you have not, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.